You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here over at Denver International. We have to do asshole consulting once available, and I don't give two flying fucks who I make inconvenient or uncomfortable if I'm talking to myself. I get to be that guy now. Um, shit, I take a bad picture of this guy. Dear asshole, I'm currently enrolled in a second tier MBA program in New England. I studied management in undergrad. Big mistake, I know. But it was forced into it by my parents. Late on that later, I graduated as a music vocal performance and management double major. But my real passion is opera singing. It's a very expensive and elite art form. I'm a 22 year old light lyric soprano who plays piano, violin, and guitar. Actually, Matt Baldoni would know exactly what you're talking about. I chose to study accounting to redeem myself from my useless degree. An accounting career with the CPA will put food on the table and allow me to fund my artistry. See, you're smart. You're putting your hobby after your survival. That's good. Are you sure you're a woman? I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, seriously, are you a It's an Eddie Izzard big pun. Um, I can't afford conservatory, so I'm going the pure private lessons route. I spoke to my advisor about switching from the MBA to the MSA, which is a master's in accounting <clears throat> but she says I won't be able to officially switch until next semester she tried to persuade me to stay in the MBA program but I'm convinced it's better to be a specialist than a journalist you are 100% right I want you to show this video to your counselor and give them one there right there right fucking there okay uh, that bra doesn't know jack fucking shit what she's talking about all right um, MBAs are worthless and you're absolutely right but look you don't go to school to be a generalist okay these idiots that happened in the 90s, these idiots would get their creative degrees, they have interdisciplinary degrees, and it was all bullshit. You need to have a skill, that's how the economy in the real world works. So yeah, fuck the MBA, get your MSA. Um, I just can't justify paying nearly 70? 70? 70 grand plus interest for a second tier MBA, bro. Oh, dude, do not pay 70 grand. Dude, I thought, like, maybe you go to U of Chicago or Harvard. Do not pay for No, absolutely not. Um, the MSA program is about 20 grand cheaper and can be completed faster, <clears throat> only months. Sweet. I know what I want to do, so how do I tell my parents who would probably freak out even though I'm paying for the degree myself? Um, I know what I want to do. Oh, uh, I'm not trying to ruin my life by pursuing another useless degree. I want to become debt-free by 30 so I can throw myself into my music while living a minimalist lifestyle. Now let's stop here because then you have a completely separate question afterwards. Um, your counselor doesn't know shit. Please, again, that's my second message to her right there. Tell her to get a real fucking job and go get a real STEM degree. Us real men and women actually studied math and science. We hate our fucking guts. Right there. So you're doing exactly the right thing going for the accounting. Even if you don't get your CPA, that master's in accounting, um, <clears throat> or certification rather, I should say, will definitely help. And uh, then you can go on and be an accountant. So is this gal an accountant or is she just a fucking liberal arts grad that works in academia? And la, la, la. So there you go. Um, so yeah, I think you're doing good. Now here's the second part. My controlling parents don't give a damn and think I'll become rich by getting an MBA. They threw me out of the house last winter due to my senior year. During my senior year and I was homeless, I literally had to beg them to take me back on the condition I would study an MBA. Their plan for me is to make a lot of money so I could pay off their house. Yes, their house. To them, I'm just an instrument to a better life, not a human being with my own interests. That's why they've discouraged my pursuit of my own passion my whole life, but I've resisted. I make sure to live on campus to avoid their abuse. Any comments would be greatly appreciated. Cheers. All right. <clears throat> this once again. Oh, fuck. I don't know how many times i got to say it. It's in the book Reconnaissance, man. I have an entire chapter dedicated to this. But basically, if you live off of your parents either because they're providing you lodging or they pay you a fucking allowance and that's what it is you're a fucking adult and they're paying you an allowance it's very childish they have every right to tell you what to do and it's, and it's not that they have a moral right it's they have a might makes right type of right because they uh, can pull the purse strings on you and then you'll be homeless like you were the solution, and this is your only solution. This isn't a recommendation. This isn't a suggestion. This isn't, well, try it. Your only choice right now is to support yourself. And I hate to say it, maybe put your education on the back burner. All right? You need 
to put food on the table. Now you can work as an Uber driver, you can work as a security guard, you can do, you could join the military. There are a lot of shit jobs that previous Americans had to work, and there were a lot worse before that, where we put food on the table, we put ourselves through college. Right. Now you already, you might have your degree, maybe you go and work as an accountant, that might be a good thing, you start as a staff accountant, and you put your education uh, in second place, and you go part-time, so as long as you can afford it, <clears throat> then you get your CPA. But right now, your biggest hurdle or issue is not your education or your career, it's getting away from what are abusive parents. Now I'm assuming you're not pulling drama and bullshit, that you're 100% honest. Your parents are treating you like a slave, your parents are abusive. You need to go talk to a therapist if this is not going to convince you. You need to cut them out. And if they, you know, if what you said was true, and they expect you to pay off the house, well, they're fucking scum. I, I would look immediately into emancipation. I mean, well, not immediately. First, you need you have to do this right. You have to extract yourself correctly. You need to find what traditional Americans used to do. It's called a job. And then you would do what traditional Americans used to do, and that is support yourself. So you don't need your parents. Now, it may not be rich, it may not be fancy, you may have to sleep on a couch, then you're living my lifestyle, and then someday when you're my age, you might have my lifestyle. But that's what you're gonna have to do. So the first thing, get independent. I wouldn't even, you know, I mean, if you're already paid for tuition of college, all right, fine, you might have to do, deal with that later. Um, but between now and then, you're finding a job and you're supporting yourself, right? You don't need your parents anymore. Um, the second thing you do then is talk to a lawyer <clears throat> or look into what's called emancipation. That's called disowning your parents uh, so they cannot legally come after you anymore. All right? So you're going to cut the financial cord from them so you're self-reliant and independent. You may want to live at home a little bit, make some money, work up some money uh, to have yourself a war chest. Probably don't tell because they sound like the type that they have joint accounts with you. Uh, and then once you establish your independence, then you emancipate yourself from them, and then you go live your life. And you have to accept the fact and live with the consequences that you may never see them again. All right? Now, how you reconcile your relationship with your parents in the future, that's a completely different separate request. You can buy my book, Reconnaissance Man, and you can read through it, or you can pay me an egregious fee, and I'll tell you how to do it, but I think it's just a lot cheaper to read Reconnaissance Man. Uh, but you have to go into this full, knowing full well, you may never see them again. And frankly, if I looked at my parents and they were fucking, well, you're gonna pay for our house and you're gonna pay for this and you're gonna make us rich, I'd say, fuck you. I don't care if I came out of your vag and that, you know, dad's jizz got inside you, mom. I'm out of here because you guys are fucking assholes. You're evil. So that's what I would do. Now, you can't, again, do it right. Do not extract yourself quickly where they can cut you off, confiscate your funds. I don't know how interwoven your personal finances are with your parents. but. You gotta get independent of them, no matter what. No matter what you major in and what degree you did, that's ultimately moot until you get away from your parents. Right? So that is gonna be your focus. You can do some long-term strategizing, some planning. Make sure you extract and retreat wisely, where you keep the majority of your assets. Um, but yeah, I, I can honestly say, if this is true, you are a perfect candidate for emancipation, and your parents should have no role in your life whatsoever. Anyway, hope that helps out. Best of luck to you. Toodles.